Hey guys, back working on uh, my XT225. It's a 2006 model. I've had it for quite a few years. It's a lot of fun. It's a real light bike. It's not super powerful, but I'm an old guy. I don't need to go fast. I don't need to go far. It's just a nice little fun bike to cruise around a couple hundred pounds. It's no problem. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to change the air filter. I checked it and I haven't checked it in a while, I guess. And it's, uh, it's definitely, I think this camera's on. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's like falling apart. You grab it and squeeze it. You've seen it before. They just get all the foam rubber. So it's behind the side cover here. It's one bolt right here. I already have it taken off. Then I decided to go ahead and make the video. Take that off. It's a few screws right here. Phillips head. No, it's not. It's not a GIS. But all I'm doing is taking the filter off. Three screws. Everybody that's got these bikes knows all this already, but I figured I'd go ahead and video it anyway. Little channel right here, the seal fits in. And the filter is right here, it slides in and out. Two different colors. And I always have the dark sky go towards the carburetor. But you can see, it's not super bad, but yet, if you pull it, it will come apart. So it's time, and it's oiled, got it oiled, and it's dirty. It slides out from this rack. So it's time. It's time to change it. It's coming in the mail today. So it's, this one is just, it's had it. And it's been a little hard to start. So I'm thinking maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. If it's restricting the airflow, it probably does have something to do with it. So anyway, when that filter comes back in, we'll go, I'll do another quick little video of oiling it up and sliding it back in there. I, I don't know about this part of the air box. This is after the filter and there, there's a little reservoir in there that oil actually will accumulate in. I don't know if it's back oil coming back from the engine or what, but I noticed I have another one bike just like this and it was full of oil. And I haven't ever taken the rest of this completely apart to check it. And uh, maybe I'll do that right now. We'll see, let me put another light on here. I've got the heater on, believe it or not, in my garage. It's like, I don't know early morning but we are down here in south florida and it's kind of chilly for us i have no idea what i'm doing here I'll take some screws out see what happens i gotta hold something together right i so long ago that i took the other one apart that I don't remember how this goes. Looks like something wants to come apart. Oh, it's glued. But Oh, man, 
That's brilliant. They have screws coming from the back side. So, like most of you guys know, you have to take the whole air box out. To check that out. Screw that. I don't feel like doing that today. There is a tube underneath there. It's like a drain tube that's pinched off. And I might check that out. I don't know if oil is supposed to be in there or not. Maybe one of you guys know. I, I, I don't have a manual with this bike. So I don't know exactly. I guess I could look it up online if I wasn't lazy. Let me get this phone off of here. I don't know if you can see that in there. Right here. There's a little tube. A little drain tube. Inside there. I guess they, they make it the way they make it. Anyway, when I get the other filter, we'll cut you guys back on. It's supposed to be this afternoon. Alright guys, thanks. Take care. Hey, and another thing. Um, it's, it's hard for me to believe I've got like almost 160 subscribers. So you guys that subscribe, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Um, I hope it's not too boring as stuff I put on here. But anyway, thanks again. Take care. Hey guys, I'm back with the XT oil, or oil filter. And I was talking about this little oil reservoir that actually sits in front of the oil filter for overflow or blow through or something so i popped off this little tube that's actually pinched on the bottom i guess it's clear so you can see if oil ever accumulates in it heck i don't know but anyway i'm gonna dump it out it looks like there's all kinds of gunk in here See if I can fish it out with a screwdriver or something. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm holding my phone with my hand. I'm going to try to set it down with something. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that stuff. Oh. Nice. I wonder if it's like a, kind of like a oil bath for the air filter that, that, uh, cause it's, it's after the air filter and before it gets into the carburetor, it looks like. So maybe it's like an oil bath, like in my old, I have an old, uh, Ford 8N, a 1952 Ford 8N tractor and it's got a oil bath air filter. Maybe that's what it's supposed to act like. Like I said, if somebody knows, put it in the comments, man. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to put that back in. Thanks again. See you later. Good morning, guys. Back here with the uh, XT225. New air filter. That's all I'm doing on this one, is replacing this air filter. And you want to get rid of them. Well, this one's way past, it looks like. But when you can grab them, it's, they're just comes right apart they get rotten after a while no can do with this new one and then this rack slides right in here one side or the other and I always I'll make sure I haven't slid it in there it looks like it's gonna fit yeah it'd be fine it uh I always put the yellow on the outside so I can see how dirty it is I don't know if that's the right way to do it or not but that's the way I'm gonna do it junk all right i'm gonna put a little oil on here a little two-stroke oil probably too much wish it all in there traps the sand and the dirt and dust from getting in there sucking in the carburetor we should do it I don't think I have a whole lot of excess, but I'm going to take this towel, some of that off of there. Oh, yeah, it's coming all the way through. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see it shining. 
came through. Some more off of there. I imagine if you had too much, it choked the, choked the motor out. It's a little stopper right there. I'm thinking that's the right way. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna swing it right over there and put it right in the bike. Should slide easily on there, but a little bit tight. All right, here we go. Right in the little teeth. Goes in like this. This goes on, fits somewhere in there, I'm guessing. The outside plate. I didn't do this on the last one, but I do it on all my other bikes. I'm gonna take a little grease and put it right on this outside edge here to trap, make like a seal. She's got some red and tacky here. Ought to do the trick. Turn you guys around here. Got it. Yeah, it's got it pretty good. Let me get you in better. Okay, yeah, guys. Probably don't even need to see this part. You just slam it back in there, but. So we're going to be this little channel right there it came out of. Slide it right back in there. Oh, yeah, there's one other thing I wanted to tell you. Right in here, there's a screen. And I think it's to catch the bigger debris or if the filter disintegrates like that other one was doing. There's a screen right inside here. You'll see it. Mine was actually caved in a little bit, which was actually doing nothing so i had to take a pick and pull it out a little bit rather than taking this whole thing apart which it's a pain in the butt i did it on my other one so anyway we keep your eye on that screen in there and it just snugs right in there it's nice and snug all the air gets sucked from up top right down through here right into the filter that's why that bottom of my filter was so dirty because it kind of all goes in one spot Yeah, just slam this back together. I've got the seat going as well. I'm waiting for the shell foam to get here to redo the seat. And I'll film that as well. That might be actually a little bit more exciting than this air filter deal. But that's it. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll get with you. Appreciate the new subscribers there, too. Thanks. See ya.